Investigators are poring over that notebook, believed to be that of James Holmes, the accused gunman in that movie theater shooting. What could be a roadmap to a massacre? And as ABC's Dan Harris tells us, experts now say detailed, meticulously written plans are often a hallmark of mass murderers. Tonight, law enforcement officials are analyzing the notebook believed to be from the suspect James Holmes discovered in the mailroom at the University of Colorado, where Holmes was a student. When investigators first found the package, they were so concerned that it would be rigged with explosives, they sent in a robot to handle it. Inside the notebook, they reportedly found plans for a massacre, including drawings of a stick figure gunman mowing down his victims. Universally, mass shooters is all about revenge. He wanted to pay society back for what he believed society had done to him. And I think the notebook will talk about that. In America's overcrowded history of mass murder, nearly every perpetrator has left behind documentation. The Columbine killers left voluminous diaries, diagrams of the school, and ominous videos. Jared Lee Loeffner, who shot Gabrielle Giffords, posted incomprehensible videos about his community college. This is my genocide school. And Sung Hee Cho of Virginia Tech recorded a garbled rant at unnamed and perhaps unknowable wrongdoers. Thanks to you, I die like Jesus Christ to inspire generations of the weak and the defenseless people. Some of this is that these attackers may be trying to be understood because at the time they carry out their attacks, they don't feel understood. This may be part of what's driving this personal desperation or the feeling that they have no options left. But given the confused ramblings of his predecessors, even if James Holmes decides to reveal his motive in that notebook, the rest of us are almost certain to find it either un incomprehensible, unacceptable, or both. Josh? That is certain. Dan, thank you there in Aurora, Colorado. Meanwhile, we want to update you on one of the victims of the shooting, Caleb Medley, in a coma since being hit by a bullet in that movie theater. Well, on Tuesday, his wife, Katie, also in the theater, gave birth to a healthy baby boy named Hugo. And tonight, we're pleased to report Caleb now has sensation on the left side of his body. And when baby Hugo was brought into Caleb's hospital room for the very first time, Dad's heart rate went through the roof.